Hello everyone, I have an awesome show for you today. I'm going to go ahead and give my first look, my first impressions of Allah's Awakening and Cathedral. Yeah! And you're going to want to stick around, you want to see my first reactions and impressions of this, and this might possibly be the best ever Cade cart released so far. Roll that intro! I'm Warren Davis, and you're watching The Evercade Effect. Evercade Effect. Hello fellow Evercadians and retro enthusiasts, you're watching The Evercade Effect, and I am All right, so today, it's all about this. This card here. Oh, all those Awakening <laughs> and Cathedral. Very, very, very excited. I'm gonna go ahead and take, you know, my first looks, into it and just keep in mind i've already gone ahead and i've recorded that footage as i've talked about previously in my videos as soon as i get a new cart collection for the very first time when i play it i go ahead pop it in the vsr handheld and record it because i want to give you all my first reactions and impressions so we're going to go ahead and jump to that in a moment and afterwards i am going to go ahead and give you my final thoughts and as time has gone by i've been playing it since then so i'm also going to give you all an update uh, after we go through my first impressions and how I've been liking it and I may possibly do a review on this as well and we'll go ahead and talk about that all right before we do get into it though I do want to go ahead and talk about uh, you know take a look at the packaging the inside of this box very cool stuff so let's go ahead and take a look at that and then we're just gonna dive straight in to my initial impressions all right here's the front of the case we're gonna open it up and take a look at the cart itself Check out the beautiful artwork that looks freaking fantastic. Now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you the back here for a brief moment and we'll take a look at the booklet. You know your typical stuff, nothing really uh, nothing really special here, but cool nonetheless. And let's take a look at the booklet itself. We're gonna go ahead and open it and thumb through some of the pages here. Uh, there's Cathedral. And uh, look, this the artwork is just so beautiful. This this book really took me back. This is so nostalgic. And then I didn't realize that Allah's Awakening, of course, is on the other side. And you flip the booklet over, which is just really, really cool. <laughs> Let's see. You flip it over here and you see the cover. But yeah, I, I love the booklet. I love everything it comes with. Yeah! Alrighty, everyone. Got my VS controller here. I've been dying to do uh, Allah's Awakening and Cathedral. So let's, let's just jump into it. Alright. We got Jump. And we have up, up, of course, I can't read that. Attack plus upcast magic. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. I normally go in and read the story and some other things, but you know, I just want to dive into this. I'm very excited. Let's just jump into it. Over Cade! That, that's really cool. I like how they do that. Uh, version 15, 19. Alright. Oh, region auto. The best that you can change. Yeah, do new adventure. Sure. Wait. The land of Allah was once a beautiful and peaceful place filled with vivid lakes, clear skies, and lush forests. The people living here were free. They took care of one another and together ensured the safety of the land. I think it just, okay. But one day, the peace was broken. Someone wanted Awa for himself. And a magical being known as Vicar descended from above. Yeah, you can't press any buttons to skip this as far as I know. Armed not with weapons, but instead driven by heat, he slowly began to enslave the people of Awa. No one could escape his reach. I do love that cinematic and the graphics. Vicar performed, and a Vicar formed the protectors. Together they sought to claim the ornaments in which are said to give their owner immense power. The ornaments had always been in the hands of the people, safe from evil, with them captured by Vicar. All seemed lost. Under the demonic reign of Vicar, the people of Awa here, helpless, and his evil quickly spread throughout the land. Oh, I love the graphics the, oh, and the art style. So cool. The village where the ornaments were kept has destroyed and hope was gone and soon began a darkness that would last for centuries. But things are about to change. The people of Awa 
have chosen to fight, and from another world, a heroine has been sent for... For what? Forsaken Valley. Wake up, Zo. The eternal flame must be lit. Okay. Hello, Zo. You are in the land of Awa. I am Sega? <laughs> Saga? And I have brought you here to help us. Awa has been enslaved by evil, and we, the people, have lost our strength and courage to fight back. We cannot do this alone. You must help us. You are stronger than us. And in time, you will uncover true strength. You must enter this tower. Top in order to find the magic staff. When you found the staff, quickly make your way back down to town. But watch out. There are many dangers and foes out there. Okay, not gonna actually play. I thought move. Alright, so you know what? I gotta do this. Do my, do, usually my dual save states. Okay. Jump. No good, no good. Okay. Jump. Do, 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 do. Okay, controls are tight so far. Yeah! I like this. The graphics, the art style. Oh. Whoop up! This is super cool. I don't know. I love this. This just feels like your typical Nintendo game. Feels kind of like Goonies. It, I don't know. It's just, it's. Oh, I love. Da -da -da. You find a magical staff. When you hold it, you can feel there is something really special within this item. Use with A to fight enemies and to destroy certain walls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, obviously, I gotta come back later when I get a cool thing. Do I find death if I fall down here? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The controls for this are super, super duper tight, which I know I keep saying that, but for a game like this, it's especially important. I just jump. Can't go there yet. I'm, I'm guessing I'll get some other cool super thing. Alright. Yeah. Okay, up isn't doing anything. Oh, it does. Right. Amber Solo Whatever that is. Okay, what happens if I go to these stars? Okay. Talk to her. Press up. Hold up. Huh. She's not a human, y'all. So this is really neat. This is your Metroidvania. What happens when I die? Where do I go? Where do I go? Death count one. Okay. So... It gives you a, it'll raise your death count, so that's neat, and, and it puts you back here, and I've got the staff. Okay, I love this. This is super neat. I cannot wait to explore. I can see sinking many, many, many hours into this game. Okay, I'm loving this, and I, I knew I was really gonna like these indie collections with just two top-notch quality games. Let's check out Cathedral. I keep in mind for Cathedral runs natively, so I shouldn't be able to do save states or anything like that. Okay. Tons of buttons. Sword. Jump. Block. Secondary item. Summon soul. Change weapon. Inventory. Map. Control character. Inventory. Hold. Okay. Or hold for map. Wow. I hope in game I can see that. Because I might forget. Loading. Oh, okay. How about if you press... Yeah! See, check this out. It does nothing. As one would think. Options! Okay, this video... Can I go back? Let's start this game. Start game! Press A. Okay, it actually did match up to being A. Oh, who do I want to be here? Ah. Can I do it? I. L. L. D. A. 
Kill Das9? No! Can I go back? No! Okay. Alright. I could just put Ed if I wanted to, but you know what? I want to be who I want to... Okay. Let me just do KD9. It works. Oh, start. Oh, you know what? There's an erase, but it's blocked. KD9! Let's do it! And notice this fills, like, a lot of the screen, too. So jump. Jump, attack. Eh, I kind of wish you could remap that. Okay. Trigger buttons don't do any don't do anything yet. Alright. Woo! Yeah, I don't know if I like Y being attack. Oh! Cool. Dang. Press start. Details. A giant cathedral filled with monsters. What is this place? Find a way out. Ah! See the those buttons. Okay, and, I, and you can't. Oh, so if you do press the button, you can go in here. You can go to options. Why isn't there? I, I really okay. I need to remap my buttons. That's the video. Pixel perfect. Oh wow! So you can really go in and fine tune this. That is pretty neat. I'm not gonna mess with this now. Language. Jump. If anything, my only complaint is just getting used to the buttons. I mean, I know that sounds minor. Woo! This. Oh, this is super duper neat. Oh, like there's a chest down there, eh? Oh, down an A. Up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's pretty neat. So at least it kind of tells you, right? So I can just do down an A here. Whoop. Whoop. So I wonder how, like, save points work. Gold. I assume there should be a save point somewhere. Woo. Ah! Around here. Oh, if I want to use my potion, I can press R1, but I don't want to waste it. I see, I just got it. Wow, I'm like, just totally like glued into this. Lots of loot and items and oh, floaty float. Can I attack it? And there's items there. Let me floaty float over here. I want the items. I don't know what those things are. Okay, and I, if I hold down start, quest to get out. Right, or do you have to hold down the menu button? Huh? What did I miss? Ah, okay. Zoom icons, legend. Very neat. 8%. I haven't completed much at all of anything. Ah! So this is just so... Ah, oh, see? I was pressing the wrong button there. I, got, I really gotta get used to that. Ah! I'm just curious to see how really, like, where the save points work. Because in Alwa, you can just, you know, you can use save states. I don't... I mean, I'm fine with not having save states. I just want to know... Ugh! How to save, but, um... You know what? I think there's another way for me to go, too. I think this is non-linear. Let's see. Die, die, die! You know, I keep wanting to stop playing this game, but I just can't. <laughs> yeah! Oh! What about her? not telling me to do anything. Yeah, I'm 
don't know why it said to hold. You just press the button and it does it. And then you press that. Okay. I don't know, maybe I was thinking like Castlevania Symphony of the Night, you save at the statue there. I don't know. See, now I can go this whole way. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go, but look at all this. I didn't even mean to do that. Haha! <laughs> can I push this block? No. Oh, can I push this block? Yeah! yeah. So you're solving puzzles. Spoiler! Sorry. Nah. I mean, come on. Oh wow. Maybe I'm not supposed to go this way, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna look in the look in the book. See how like you're supposed to save. I didn't even see a save and quit option. What if I just do back to like a do quick game? Quick game, yeah. That brings you back. Huh, that's funny. It showed all my games that are listed here. I notice there's no load last game either. I'm just curious if it if it goes back in here. Does it um you know just bring me back where I left off or what happens? Or did I not find a save spot? Stir. Eighty nine. Oh! See? Maybe, did it automatically save when I came back here? I don't know, because I'm... Yeah. Maybe it does automatically save it. Yeah, I think it automatically does save it this time. It'd be nice if something on the screen said, so I'll have to look in the... I'll have to look in the instruction booklet, and I bet it... I bet it tells you. But, um, yeah, I am... I am loving this. I am loving this collection. It's what I've wanted. Let me go ahead and uh, flip back and I'll give you my uh, my final thoughts and what I think of this so far and we are back <laughs> all right so it was my initial thoughts and impressions now as I mentioned earlier I've been playing this uh, for at least over a week or so now by the time you're seeing this video and I did want to give a little bit of an update and I meant what I said earlier I think this might be the best cart Evercade has released so far that could, I'll even go out on a limb and say that Cathedral is probably the best game. I have been loving that. It's everything I've wanted in a modern retro indie style game from the art style. Play controls are tight. It utilizes all the buttons and both on the handheld and on the VS. There's a different layout for the handheld. So yeah, this is just, oh, if you love Metroidvanias, you're going to love this. I, I'm, I'm having a blast playing it. I'm also playing Always Revenge or Always Awakening. I don't know why I keep calling it that. And I've also been enjoying that too, so I flip back and forth if I get like stuck in Cathedral. Cathedral is just great. Uh, the way the save system works, it's punishing if you die. Not too punishing though, you lose like 10% of your gold. I might go ahead and just do a separate review on Cathedral. That's how much I'm loving it so far. As I've always said, it's quality over quantity. I prefer these dual cart games or lesser cart games. Like the Morph Cat Collection where we have these fewer games, we have polished games, but these... Oh, this is truly something special. So, what I want to know in the comment section below, have you bought this cart? Are you planning on getting this cart? You know, do you like these games as usual? <laughs> you know, uh, uh, is it, am, I, am I talking crazy or am I on the money? Because both of these games are excellent. This is definitely holding me over until we get the new EXP. And those other carts, now when those other carts do come out because we're getting some serious arcade action with Irim and Toplin and the Capcom collection, you know, will I find those better at the time? Who knows? But this is what I'm just saying right now if you would like me to review either of these games you know can i cover each of them separately more in depth let me know and if you happen shh, 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 if you happen to find this channel as always through the youtube verse please like and subscribe it really helps me out and check out my secondary channel of calling orchard gamers me retro rich and all those great youtube things thank you so much community you're awesome Bye bye